Today it's going to be Scotty from Marketing, uh, Scott Morrison from Australia, the Prime Minister. So I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. You know, I just felt like I owed my Australian viewers something. So here we go. We're going to talk about uh, Scott Morrison uh, as uh, Lena Rodriguez uh, from Tarot, from Lena Rodriguez Tarot. I forgot the name of her channel, but it's Lena Rodriguez. And uh, I think it's Tarot Down Under. Uh, it refers to him as Scotty for Marketing. So here we go. You know I wicked him. So uh, here's what I have from Wiki on uh, Scott Morrison. So in 1968, when he was born, that's Scott John uh, Morrison on the 13th of May. So he's a Taurus, and uh, on the uh, and he's the 30th and the current uh, Prime Minister of Australia since 2018 uh, as the leader of the Liberal Party. Uh, Morrison, uh, Morrison was born in Waverley, Sydney. Uh, he's the younger of two sons. His father was a policeman who uh, served on the Waverley Municipal Council and a single term as mayor. Uh, he attended Sydney's Boys. Uh, high school and then the high school and then the University of New South Wales for a Bachelor of Science in Applied Economic Geography. That's an interesting uh, title. I hadn't heard that before. His uh, honors thesis was a demographical analysis of Christian Brethren Assemblies in Sydney. He's cons he considered studying theology at uh, Regent College in Vancouver, Canada, but his father disapproved, so he began working. Uh, now, going back to 1788, though, he is descended from William Roberts of the UK, convicted of stealing yarn. Stealing yarn and transported to Australia on the First Fleet. And if you didn't know, the First Fleet, and the Aussies know, but the rest of us might not, the First Fleet was uh, 11 ships brought uh, the first uh, European settlers uh, to Australia from uh, the UK. Um, uh, 1970. He's two years old and uh, grew up in a in a, in a Bronte suburb and later had a brief career as a child actor, appearing in TV commercials and small local acting roles. Uh, roles. Uh, 1989 to 1995. At 21 years old in 1989, he began work as a national policy and research manager for the Property Council of Australia. Then he was deputy chief executive of the Australian Tourism Task Force. I can't say that well. The Australian Tourism Task Force. Okay, it worked. And uh, later General Manager of the Tourism Council of Australia. 1998, he's 30 years old, and Morrison moved to New Zealand as Director of the Office of Tourism and Sport and was involved in the creation of the long-running 100% Pure New Zealand campaign. Campaign. Uh, 2000, he left his position to return to Australia to become state director of the Liberal Party of Australia, New South Wales Division. <clears throat> Until 2004, he was the state director of the New, so New South Wales Liberal Party, where, in 2001, he oversaw the party's campaigns in the federal election. Then, in 2003, he oversaw the New South Wales state election. Then, 2004 to 2006, he was actually managing director, director of tourism in Australia. 2007, he's 39 years old, and he's the first elected no, that's wrong. In 2007, he's 39 years old, and he was first elected to the House of Representatives for the Division of Cook in New South Wales and quickly appointed to the Shadow Cabinet. 2012, a 44-year-old Morrison on the 50th anniversary of noted Australian poet Dame Mary Gilmore, who was actually who was actually a distant relative on his father's side, he delivered a tribute to her in uh, federal parliament. Uh, 2013, after the coalition's victory, he was appointed Minister for Immigration and Border Protection, responsible for implementing uh, Operation Sovereign Borders, a military-led border security operation aimed at combating maritime people smuggling and protecting Australia's borders, which basically meant if you try to get in the country, they put you on an island. 
2014, he became Minister for Social Services. In 2015, he was promoted to Treasurer. Now, 2018, he's 50 years old now and became leader of the Liberal Party and was sworn in as Prime Minister. Uh, 2019, he led the coalition to a surprise victory, but was criticized for his response to brush fires. And then uh, 2020, during the COVID-19 pandemic, although Australia received praise for successfully suppressing the virus, his government was criticized for no national quarantine system, failure to help Australians stranded overseas, and a slow vaccination rollout that fell far short of targets. In 2021, he was criticized for parliament rape allegations. Recently, Morrison oversaw signing of the AUKUS, that's A-U-K-U-S, Australia, U-K, and U-S, security pact, creating increased tension with China. That was that submarines that France got so in a tiff about, remember? So that's what we've got for Scotty for Marketing. Let's see what the cards say. So this is the Wild Unknown Tarot by Kim Kranz. And these cards are really nice cards. She's put some very thoughtful messages in this uh really a nice uh, guide box or guidebook uh, or <laughs> packaging that she's included. The guidebook is a really cool quality. The cards are co completely fully depicted here, not in color, but um, you know, there's not much color in the cards anyway. And there's some very thoughtful ideas as to the divination of the cards. So uh, Kim Cran did a beautiful job with this. Then it's got a, a box within a box. So I, I like to call the inner sanctum. Another nice message inside this box and the cards well, there's a little something lacking in the cards, and I'll tell you what it is, is that the uh, quality of them isn't, doesn't make them the easiest cards to use. Um, the cards are thin, um, they don't uh, spread out very well, but the meaning in the cards is unbelievable, and you'll see uh, right here as I put them out for you. All this detail that you see, this is hand-drawn. Every single, all of these lines, all of this repetitiveness that you see in here is, um, is Kim Cran's work uh, her and so it really makes you feel like some a lot of thought a lot of intention went into each and every drawing that you have here and so and like i always say i spread these cards out in the beginning here so that you can kind of get a look at a full deck of cards if you don't collect cards or if you don't see lots of variety of cards all the time and i'm kind of a crazy person that buys a lot of cards um sadly um but um they make for a very nice um, experience when you're doing divination with these cards. Kim Kranz, The Wild and Unterrible. So China is not happy uh, with this new AUKUS uh, situation. So, but there are some questions, that I, other questions I want to ask. So there's the Car Park uh, Coalition. Um, was there some, oh, not nice uh, stuff going on behind the scenes with those uh, coalition uh, marginal seats. And did uh, Morrison actually see that list that he says he didn't see? So that's curious. And um, nuclear weapons with AUKUS. I mean, is there is was some of that to get some technology to Australia for for nuclear pro uh, proliferation? So. We'll have to ask, and we'll go at it one at a time, three main things. So let's take the car park uh, debacle first. So Scott Morrison, did he see that list of uh, coalition marginal seats that I suppose would uh, benefit from this um, this car park scheme? And I guess the, the, the thing being is that these... Uh, these uh, the coalition that uh, the, government had the government had made with uh, these seats... Uh, so that I guess they would benefit. So did Scotty see that list that he says he hadn't seen? So is he just telling us a story? I have to spread these out slowly because these cards don't like to spread, but I love using them. I'm just going to take three cards at first, and maybe that'll do the trick, and if not, we'll get some more. But uh, we'll start like that. So three cards. Scott Morrison, did you actually see that list of the um, Coalition uh, Marginal Seats? The devil. Well, what does that tell you right there? I probably don't even need the other two cards. So the devil tells us uh, that uh, we're dealing in lesser intentions here. Okay, that 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 is just screams deal making to me. The next card for that question, the marginal seats, son of cups. <laughs> so the sun would be like the uh, knight. Uh, of cups. Cups are emotions. And this cup is actually kind of exploding with some sort of uh, fiery uh, content here. So the Knight of Cups 
uh, looks like maybe someone decided to take this emotional issue and push it forward uh, with a little um, uh, malintent. And then the final card for this is a five, six, seven, eight of wands, things coming at a rapid pace, a lot of things happening. And these eight of wands actually have a lightning strike coming out of them. So yeah, this, this issue is not what it was, what it's, uh, is not as clear as it was uh, mentioned. I'm going to take another card right off the top. And Scott Morrison, did you actually see uh, that list of the coalition seats? Of course, I think you did. And look, keeping things balanced, the two of pentacles. Yeah, it looks like maybe uh, that's uh, in the works. I'm going to take another card, maybe two. Uh, oh, yeah, there were partnerships. There was a, a, a love letter uh, sent here. And then the final card for that. It is ah long-term planning. So yeah, it looks to me like uh, probably uh, Scotty uh, was fully aware of the list. So we have that. The next question we're going to deal with uh, speaks to the nuclear uh, weapons um, technology uh, uh, that, may, that some think may be part of that. Um, the reason for that deal is AUKUS, Australia, UK, US situation. So nuclear weapons, is that part of the strategy behind these submarines, which won't even, I think it's 2044. I mean, it's some crazy delivery date for these things and uh, particularly expensive. Um, so nuclear weapons, nuclear weapons technology, nuclear weapons technology. Is this actually a big part of that deal? Let's do this. And I think I'm going to take... Let's start again with three cards. I wanted to say five, but we'll see how this goes. Two, three, nuclear weapons technology. Is this um, a major part of that decision to come on this AUKUS deal? So five, six, seven of wands. Now, it's interesting to me that this is a lit flame. And the seven of wands is typically typically uh, depicted in the Rider Waite decks as someone up on a mountaintop with a wand fighting off some uh, some plans uh, coming up to to um, interfere with him. So I don't know. This seems to me like yes, it is. It does have to do with nuclear weapon technology. The second card of this is the Emperor. Okay, so force, strength. That's what the Emperor is all about. And so this looks like a play uh, to put uh, Australia in uh, a better position as far as that's concerned. And then the third card is the Father of Cups, and that's the King of Cups. Lots of emotion. And so this this King of Cups is a dark swan. And um, so I would say that, yes, uh, in this regard, um, this was all about being in charge, uh, being, you know, making this happen. And I think it did have to do with that nuclear technology. But I'm going to pull one more card just for the heck of it. And that is the Four of Swords, which, oh, my gosh, look at this. This is telling somebody, take some time to consider what you're doing before you, you do this. And uh, that's caution. And uh, so very interesting. I'm going to say again that it looks like this nuclear technology uh, for weaponry um, may actually be um, a hidden agenda in this uh, deal. Interesting. So the last question I have, there are just three about Scotty. And uh, this one is, um, oh, China retaliation. So yeah, China really got upset over this deal, obviously. And they're a huge trading partner with Australia. I mean, uh, I would imagine that even right now, um, certainly there must be, I don't know, certainly there, mu there must be some uh, retaliation, some trading retaliation going on between China and Australia on the side of China, punishing Australia for what they've done, I'm going to guess. So China retaliation, is it going to be significant? I'm going to take six cards for that. One, two three, four, five, six. Although, I mean, they do need Australia's coal. So let's see. Six cards, China retaliation. Will it be significant uh, regarding this uh, office deal? Okay, big ace of swords. You know, at ace, usually I would say it's truth and justice, but this is a fight. And you can tell because of the cracks coming off of this sword. So this is a big ace of swords. So yeah, this is the signifier of this diet cross I'm going to make with these six cards. So yeah, is, is there China going to retaliate? It looks like they will. What's the challenge to that? The challenge to that ah, is strength. Of course it's strength. China is strong and Australia is trying to be stronger. So this is the uh, challenge to this. The base of this reading is the Father of Swords. This is the King of Swords. Again, we're coming right back to this strength 
and the father of swords. And I'm going to say, this is kind of China saying, you know, we're the big guns in this part of the world. Um, the past of this reading is the five of swords. And for some reason, the five of swords is leaving me blank. Five of swords, five of swords. I'm going to have to uh, take a minute. You know, five of swords is um, sort of an abuse of power. And I'm going to say from the point of view of China, because I did ask about China retaliation, they're thinking, they're viewing this as some sort of an abuse of power. You know, they're very touchy about their position in the world. So that's what they're thinking about this. And the sky of this reading is the Nine of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles is really having everything that you want, everything that you, that you could hope for. And I think this is the goal of uh, Australia in this uh, respect, is trying to gain uh, a bigger foot uh, of, of value in this area. And then the final outcome as to whether China's retaliation will be significant, okay, is a great big ace of pentacles, and that's a yes. It's a great big value, okay? This almost looks like some sort of a nuclear uh, bullseye, but it's actually a tree uh, with the pentacle in the middle. So, yeah, there's going to be a big play on the part of China to, uh, to rest this back. Let me take maybe one or two more cards, maybe not a full uh, Celtic cross, but just a couple more cards to maybe better define this Ace of Pentacles. Right here, we have the five, six, seven of cups. Seven of cups has to do with creativity, okay? Sort of making things happen. One more card, and this is going to be the uh, nine of cups, which is a usually speaks to happy family, but that almost sounds like a Chinese proverb, doesn't it? So I'm going to say... That, yeah, this great big action uh, that can be expected as the outcome is certainly uh, on the part of China. There's something that's going to come. Uh, probably trade, I'm going to guess, uh, and no more than that. So, yeah, I think that Mr. Scott Morrison may have bitten off more than he could chew. I don't think it's beyond repair, but, yeah, China uh, wants to show that they have the strength in this situation. There's going to be some sort of a great big ace of pentacles reaction to this. And China wants to show that it's their worth that will reign. Very emotional with all these cups. That's what I've got. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.